Hi, I'm so excited to be live here with you today. And today I'm going to be reading to you one of my favorite books, Knuffle Bunny. I don't know about you, but I've been watching a lot of Mo Willems doing his doodles for story time or doodles with lunch. And we've been doing a lot of that. And so I've been so inspired by him. I wanted to read one of Mo Willems favorite books or one of our favorite Mo Willems books. I have a little buddy with me here today. Hey, 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 stay off screen. So this is Knuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale by Mo Willems. Today's story is about a little girl who has a lovey named Knuffle Bunny. She takes it everywhere with her. One day, she goes with her daddy while they run some errands, and I wonder what will happen next. Today's themes are love and responsibility. And today's question is, how do you take care of your things? So, you're up, buddy. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. He's very excited about that. Here we go. Hmm. I wonder what Knuffle Bunny is doing. Knuffle Bunny. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. She looks like she's having a lot of fun here, doesn't she? She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clabble! That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Mm, but look at Trixie's face. Aggle, flaggle, clabble! said Trixie again. Blaggle, plabble! Wobby, flappy! <laughs> now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, then she had no choice. Trixie bawled. <laughs> She went boneless. Uh oh. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Have you ever seen your parents look like that? Mm. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Knuffle Bunny? Look at Trixie's face. She's like, mm-hmm, I told you, the Nuffle Bunny. The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. Oh, who's that? They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked, but Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. I wonder how Trixie's feeling right here. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until <gasps> Knuffle Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. For today's activity, I want you to think about something that you have that you love. It may be a special picture, a stuffed animal, or a blanket or toy that you may have had since before you were born. Then I want you to get a piece of paper and some coloring tools, crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever it is you like to use. And I want you to draw a picture of you with your special item. Be sure to show how that thing that you love makes you feel. 
I would love to see your picture. So if you want, you can ask your grown-up to take a picture of your picture and send it to me at thegivingprojectforchildren at gmail.com and I would love to see it and respond to you. Thank you so much for sharing this book with me. Let's continue to develop our love of reading together. Till next time.